Hello everybody, this is a much shorter video today. Um, today is very simple, I'm just going to show you all how, uh, give you all an update on, on uh, what I've been doing and, um, and uh, how to use the Clover Configurator. So uh, one of the first things that I, that I did, if anyone noticed from my last video, is I moved my, um, my dock over to the left side so that it feels a little more like Ubuntu. I love Ubuntu. Uh, Ubuntu, man. It's such a fun word to say. Now, um, it also gives me a better better sight of the lovely Summer Glau. Yes, I will point that out in every video. She is gorgeous. And a very talented actress, I might add. So, uh, anyone who hasn't seen Firefly, um, uh, go watch it. Anyways, so the Clover Configurator. We're going to go to uh, Launchpad. And it should be somewhere over. Yeah, no, I guess not. Downloads. Clover Configurator. Here it is. So I guess it's in the uh, download folder. Now, what it says over here is it can't find a plist file. Config.plist file. Well, that doesn't even surprise me. Because if we go to um, Disk Utility. I was putting two USB drives in RAID earlier, uh, forgive me. But if we go over to Disk Utility, I mean, it's not, not mounted, but uh, it's not. The uh, file partition on your disk is not mounted. By default, that's just the way that it works. So the first thing you're going to want to do is um, go over to Mount EFI. You don't even need EFI mounter anymore to make this work. Um, this is a great great program on so many levels but before I start ranting uh, you want to mount the partition see partitions already mounted you want to open the partition EFI clover config.plist and as you can see from the last time um, I had to I was manually entering uh, verbose and uh, Nvidia drivers every single time well now, um, you just set those arguments manually forever. I'm, I'm sure you could have. Uh, what would have been really nice, I guess, is uh, is if they made boot arguments permanent in uh, the in the Clover bootloader because I did try entering um, verbose and um, and use NVIDIA web driver, which is nv underscore drv equals one. That means use NVIDIA web drivers. It also has a Dart uh, Dart Zero. I'm not entirely sure what that is, but um, I'll, I'll look that up later. Um, I did mention in my last video something about uh, injecting something into system parameters. Well, there it is. Inject system ID NVIDIA Web. NVIDIA Web. So if you're using a Pascal-based card and you have 10.12.5, the currently the latest version of Sierra, then you are going to need that NVIDIA web on top of MV underscore DRV equals one in order to make that argument actually work. So it's an argument to an argument, I guess, or like uh, some kind of supporting program. I'm not entirely sure why it has to do that nowadays maybe because it, it because the computer is running a proprietary driver from nvidia not like some sort of alternate web driver or something like that like you get um one of those ghetto ones from one of the weird uh shady repositories this one actually comes from nvidia so without further ado yeah it starts off i'm starting it off in verbose i i, I don't think you actually need to do that i just like doing that um it, it makes me feel more comfortable with things anyways um let me show you i'm gonna restart uh actually no hold on i'm on a mac right now i'm gonna do this the right way first i'm gonna close this and then i'm gonna close that i'm going to quit out of that eh, come on damn it the one thing I still can't get working is this I want I I've tried to get a hotkey short up shortcut 
for for this reboot. Oh, operation not permitted. Okay, sure. I know it takes so much longer, but but I like doing it like that. It just makes me feel smart. <laughs> All the smart people are probably saying, I use the reboot button. <laughs> so anyways, I'm not touching anything. No hands. hands. Hands over here. One hand's holding the camera, the other hand is over here. It goes, it goes, it goes, it goes. It passed. Good. Now just the fact that it's starting in verbose guarantees that those arguments have been added to boot arguments and have been saved to the config.plist file. They, that is uh, exactly what I wanted it to do. Okay. Hey, Bashel. Hi. Hi, Bashel. You're covering her tits. Uh, is nice. <laughs> yeah. So that's how you would use the uh, the the Clover um, the Clover what, what do they call it configurator Clover configurator yeah it is a configurator I guess it configures your configuration things uh, it comes in that CCC cool Clover configurator that's it I guess anyways so yes um, like I said I was gonna make this video considerably shorter uh, if you guys have any questions about what you can do um, please leave a comment messages down below in the comments down below and I will uh, try to answer as best I can I'll leave a link to the clover configurator in the video description as well all right YouTube have a good day